Hello, my name is Cameron Wyatt and I'm joined today by Henry Grover. We're both from Red Hat Consulting. In today's whiteboard video, we're going to be discussing the integration between Cloudforms and Ansible. So Henry, tell us, what are Ansible and Cloudforms? Cloudforms is Red Hat's main hybrid cloud management product. It's something that allows you to integrate with a lot of the different things in your environment, manage them all for one place where you can get a bunch of information and uh, talk to all of them. And it's also a product that lets you break up major workflows that are important to your business and to your IT groups into smaller tasks. For example, a normal provisioning workflow like this, where you start off creating a request to your virtualization environment, then you go through, make some changes to it, actually get it provisioned, and then do whatever else you want before notifying the user at the end that you're finished provisioning that. This allows you to set up things like one-click provisioning of some new server. Great. So if these things come out of the box, what do they work for in my environment? That's one of the really big benefits of CloudForms is that you don't have to create all of the integrations with whatever else you're trying to interact with. For example, virtualization providers, Rev, out of the box, you can interact with. VMware, you can interact with. Basically, anything that you're going to be working with in your IT environment, CloudForms is able to handle the API calls for you so that you don't have to do that as custom code. It's also able to work with all of the major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Compute which makes it a lot easier to just get up and rolling with whatever your environment looks like at the beginning. Okay, great. And what's Ansible? Ansible is Red Hat's configuration management tool. So Ansible is a way basically to take bigger sets of um, steps that you want to break down into smaller individual item potent things that you can do on a server. For example, creation of a user, modification of a file, or starting of a Linux service, and put them into a nice human readable format. This makes it really easy to set up some sort of repeatable workflow, and for that reason, it does work really nicely with CloudForms in a lot of ways. Now, obviously, with this newest CloudForms version, these are starting to actually integrate, right? Would you tell us a little bit more about that? Exactly. So as Henry mentioned, in the latest CloudForms version, we get embedded Ansible. So in addition to the out-of-the-box workflows that we already have, we gain the ability to store playbooks, credentials within CloudForms itself, and we can start invoking those playbooks as part of our provisioning workflow. We also have the ability to integrate with Ansible Tower by Red Hat, which provides a graphical user interface, role-based access controls, and again, allows us to store playbooks and credentials. We can integrate with both of those things. Cool. And with that, you're able to mix and match your automate, existing Ruby automate code and the Ansible playbooks, right? Exactly. So the out-of-the-box provisioning workflow is all written in Ruby. But now that we have the ability to integrate with Ansible, we can start to bring those playbooks into the fold. Cool. So Henry, let's say that we already have CloudForms in our environment and we want to bring in Ansible. I'm sure you have customers that are asking for that. What does that look like? Yeah, that's a major use case that I found at a number of my clients is people have been using CloudForms for a while and they realize that there's this whole rich Ansible galaxy out there that they can use to enhance those workflows. And that is the major benefit is that when you go out to Ansible Galaxy, there are modules for everything that you're probably going to want to do as part of your IT infrastructure needs. For example, you might just need to be able to get an IP address from your IP management system, your IPAM system. You could go out to Ansible, find a module that does that for you, download it, and then just use that to do this part of your workflow so that instead of having custom Ruby code written here, you're just pulling in that Ansible module and it does it, it becomes a part of your workflow. This makes it a lot easier to build them up over time rather than having to write all of this custom code. And I guess you can also see it, and you have, I think, seen it going the other direction where you start off with Ansible and then you start introducing CloudForms into an environment, right? Yeah, exactly. So we see this often. Places are using Ansible or they have Ansible Tower, and they have existing workflows and playbooks that they're already running, but now they want to bring in CloudForms because they want the manager of managers that CloudForms is. They want the reporting. They want the holistic picture of yeah. their entire infrastructure and their cloud. We can create the request, and then we can get an IP address, and we can do placement, provisioning, and then after the VM comes up, Maybe we want to register it with Satellite 6. Yeah. And then we know that we want to deploy our middleware, such as JBoss, onto that virtual machine. And then we're going to let the user know. So in one place, the user clicked the order button one time, they've got a virtual machine that's ready to go. So our users, our clients, could already have, say, the Satellite 6 playbook that does something with that. They could then just drop that right into their existing workflow without any changes, right? Absolutely. Very cool stuff. So I think we can see, based on this conversation, that there's a lot of benefits to your IT organization in bringing together CloudForms and Ansible in this way, whether you started off with Ansible, CloudForms, or neither. If you're interested in doing this, come talk to us. We've done this a lot of times before, and if you talk to your account exec, we can do a discovery session. In this discovery session, we can tell you what Red Hat Consulting brings to the table and what we can do for you. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us directly at redhat.com consulting. Thank you.